This is SPN 1130, online beginning Spanish one, and my name is Dr. Crystal Morrill, and I'm the coordinator for the online Spanish program here at the University of Florida. This course received the 2018 Large Enrollment Online Education Excellence Award. So when I was creating this course, I really wanted to create a course that would engage students in experiential learning activities that would really bridge what they're learning in the classroom with real world applications. So to this end, for example, I've incorporated in my course the opportunity for students to meet with native speakers as language coaches on a weekly basis in small groups to practice different conversational skills. And then I'm able to pull from those sessions that they have with their language coach uh, different activities that I can then incorporate into an asynchronous multimedia type of activity on the platform VoiceThread. The incorporation of both the native language coaches and these um, multimedia rich voice thread activities really does engage the students with the language. And my ultimate goal is to motivate them to pursue lifelong learning of a language, which will open doors for them to communicate across different languages and cultures in their professional and personal lives. So although my students were in a large enrollment course, the way this course was designed really created a very intimate and personalized experience for the students. Students have often left comments such as, I've never had a professor answer an email as if we are texting each other, and I know you have a lot of students. You made me want to work as hard for you as you were for me. You supply all of the tools to learn Spanish and have fun doing so. It doesn't happen too often where a student can truly see the professor's passion, but it is quite evident in your teachings. One of the pillars of this course and one of the favorite activities of the students is the sessions with the native Spanish language coach through the organization Lingua Meeting. This class includes a live Spanish language learning component, Lingua Meeting, or otherwise known as the In Vivo Coaching Sessions. Over the course of the semester, students meet weekly in small groups for a coaching session with a trained language coach from either South America or Spain. These sessions are conversational in nature and provide students with the opportunity to put into practice what they've been learning from the text and the voice thread activities. These sessions provide the often missing link in online teaching and provide authentic, real interaction in the target language. As students develop a personal connection to their coach, their motivation increases and they begin to take ownership of their learning. So one of the other activities that are essential to this course is the activities that I designed using VoiceThread. VoiceThread is a multimedia platform which allows me to embed different types of um, media with which students can interact asynchronously. So for example, when we were working on the unit on the community here, I was able to put together uh, slides that capitalized on what the students have been learning about their coach's home country and let them re revisit those topics and listen again to the coach's recordings and work with it in a more um, scaffold manner so that they could exercise with the different grammatical and vocabulary topics of that unit. Now, VoiceThread is a real simple platform to use and it's been excellent for asynchronous communication in the classroom because one, it allows me to share information with the students on um, instructions and organization by using different types of um, identities. Here, for example, I can give them what the linguistic focus is of the slide, and then I can provide a slide here where I give them um, the instructions of what they're supposed to do on this activity. Then the student themselves can interact with this activity. In, in this case, we're um, working on the stem changing verbs in the present tense and all in reference to their coaches that they've been working with weekly. So that they were prompted to uh, indicate what they know about their coaches using these different um, grammatical verbs in, that, are, uh, that have a stem change in the present tense. So the students could give an example could participate by recording a comment. They could click here on the comment button, click on the video record button and record a comment, which then shows up like this. And then what's really great about that is uh, with VoiceThread is that I can go back and give the students individualized feedback. I here use the identity of feedback and I can respond to each student and give them some sort of um, either information about the grammatical terms that they were using or their pronunciation. I can either leave a written comment or I can leave a um, audio comment or also a video comment. And this is another way to personalize and individualize the instruction because I'm able to respond to each student's uh, development and to help them uh, facilitate their language acquisition process. Um, students complete one of these voice start activities each week and I give them feedback before the next one is due. So being that this is a language course of high enrollment, uh, I have typically 80 students per course per semester. One strategy that I use to create an environment where students feel that they're in smaller learning communities is by splitting them into smaller groups so that they can 
interact with a limited number of peers and feel like they're getting the individualized and personalized attention that's typical of a language class. So students in this course are split into groups, learning communities of no more than 10 students. Thus, for all the discussions on the voice start activities, they're working and sharing with the same group of peers. Students are prompted to offer feedback and encouragement and suggestions to their peers within their group. This then fosters a sense of community and gives students the impression of being in a very small class when in fact they're in a large class. Furthermore, for the telecollaborative language coaching sessions, which I mentioned previously, there's never more than four students present, reinforcing the small group nature of this course. So what I find most rewarding about teaching online is I get to meet a very diverse group of students. They come from different ages, backgrounds, uh, language experiences, and I find it extremely rewarding being able to facilitate this opportunity for them to communicate with um, the Spanish-speaking community. And oftentimes students come back with stories. They send me unsolicited emails about how learning Spanish is impacting their real life. For example, I had one student, she was uh, of uh, Puerto Rican heritage, but yet in her house, she was not brought up to speak Spanish. And there was a lot of issues in the house about shame about speaking a second language. And, and her parents basically did not speak Spanish to the kids in the house. Thus, she grew up with a Puerto Rican heritage, but she didn't feel very connected at all with her roots because she wasn't able to communicate in the language. But through this course, she recently sent me an email that she had the opportunity to go visit her grandma, and she asked her grandma to speak to her in Spanish and saying that she was trying to practice her, her, her Spanish, and she really wanted to be able to use it with her grandmother. And she sent me this email that was a real tearjerker because uh, she goes on about how um, 45 minutes went by of her grandmom speaking to her in Spanish and telling her about all these things of her childhood. And she understood, not every word, not every sentence, but she understood enough that she really felt like she was able to connect to her grandmother and her grandmother's upbringing. And she just felt that it was one of these miraculous moments that put everything into perspective of why she was studying a language and how it was so much more than the grade. And it was about reconnecting with her roots. And it totally transformed her confidence in the course and, and her perspective about what she was doing and, she was why, and why she was doing it. And I received stories like these, um, you know, here and there. And it just reinforces why I'm doing this and why I put so much effort into making this a quality course because that it's the difference maybe between them being able to reconnect with their history, their culture, their background, or to create new personal connections across languages and communities. And it really depends on the quality of this course to open that door for them. And uh, I'm really honored to have the opportunity. So that's why I do it.